Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to yet another episode of Minecraft. It is episode 75, guys. We have made it this far. It's been a long time. So, uh, yeah. Uh, in this episode, we're doing a world tour, um, as usual, every 25 episodes. Um, a lot has changed since the last one, of course. So, uh, yeah, why don't we get started here? Um, so yeah, this is our house here. Um, this is one of the first things we've built in the world. Uh, just recently I added a window here to make it look a bit cooler. So yeah, this is my house, got an inch just there, crafting table, some storage here. It's always been just one chest for some reason there. I. I never bothered to put another one down. I've got some furnaces here, and chests are full of junk. I don't really use these chests for storage anymore because I've got a better storage system. You've got another chest there, got a bed. I've um, got, got a nice little balcony here. Uh, got a cool roof. Got a window up there and there. Got nice big windows everywhere. Um, downstairs it's kind of just useless. Crafting table, jukebox, uh, do we have anything in there? Oh yes we do. Uh, over here there's a secret little door, so I, you can't have it open there. You need to place this lever here for it to open. I know, it makes so much sense. Got a few things here, this this is was back from when we were still using this as our main storage place, the house. This was where I would put all my goodies and stuff. Uh, let's turn that down a bit, quite loud. Um, just outside here, you can see we've got a few stairs here and there. Got a nice little waterfall here, nice little stream. Bit of decoration here and lighting, of course. Um, some more decoration here, nice window there. Uh, there's goes all around the house, and there's doors on both sides. Um, there's a pressure plate here, so I can just walk out of here and just fly out. Uh, and same with up here actually, got a pressure plate here. Uh, so yeah, this house has been here for a very long time, looks pretty good. Um, another one of the first things we've built was an elevator here, so that we can travel up and down. Uh, this was because we, we started the world in 1.8 which was way before Elytra. Um, well, not way before, but it was it was quite a while before we got any Elytra around here. So, yeah, this this little elevator here was really useful. Just do that. And uh, you're, it's off already. So, yeah, there's more stairs coming down here. Uh, let's, check, let's check out this little area here first. We need to go here. Um, got an enchantment room here, actually. Um, got some storage for stuff. This is empty currently. Got some picks in here ready to go. Some shovels. Got the enchantment room. Got a few anvils here. Um, Alright so over here just nothing there. And then if we go through these vines here we get a bit of a nice little area here. This is quite good actually I think. A little pond here. Uh, Coming up here, we we have a nice little garden. We did this uh, as one of the first projects that I did on my new PC that I'm using now. Got a little greenhouse type thing, I don't know. It works. Um, I still haven't like placed different types of flowers in this garden. It, it's just here f just to know it's there really. We don't even look at it. So yeah, this is, this is the house. Um, if we just go down these stairs here, we can get to this runway here. Back when Elytra first came out, uh, you couldn't use fireworks to fly with them. Uh, but w what you had to do is you had to have a punch two bow and you would hit yourself with it. And it, I found it pretty hard to do so I had a runway here to allow myself to get some speed and stuff before I fly off. I'm not. I don't use this anymore. And I, these 
lights would um, go run down, but I don't think they do that anymore. I might have switched that off. They would do that at night, obviously. Uh, this is what the house looks like from a distance. Looks pretty cool, I think. It's uh, it was like a semi-floaty island there, sort of thing. Going down these stairs here, though, we come to a villager trading post thing. So we go through double iron doors. This is just for safety, so no zombie can get in here ever. And then each one of these has even more safety features. I just don't want to lose my villagers, you know. So yeah, let's check out what these villagers have. This is a librarian. First Walker 2. Uh, that's, that was pretty cool to get. Not the greatest en enchantments on these guys. Uh, uh, what was that? Infinity. Yeah, that's a very good one. The low cheapest you can get this is for four, I think. So, that, so that's a pretty good deal there. Well, I have a lot of librarians here because books are really important, like mending here. It's really cool. Uh, got efficiency 5 for a full stack of emeralds. I think that's that's like the best trade I have here actually. Even though the cheapest you can get it for is like 20 emeralds, but still, I'll take it. This is my main guy here, I trade, this is the one I trade with the most because he's got cheap paper. Got a cleric, don't really use clerics that much, they're a bit pointless to me right now. Uh, yeah, just showing this. Uh, I want to preferably finish this video in under an hour and a half. I don't know if that will happen though. Uh, so I'll just speed up here a little bit. Uh, butcher, I don't, I, do, I never use the butcher. Toolsmith. Um, not the best of enchants. Got a farmer here. Uh, this is a good farmer because he has eight pumpkins for one emerald, which is the cheapest you can get this for. So that's good. We have a pumpkin farm which I'll show in a bit that you can use with this guy and then we got one armorer here. Protection one. And yeah, I haven't really traded too much with these guys in a while. So yeah, uh, this is this area. Um, if we just step down here, uh, so we're at the bottom of this thing again. I I'm explaining this as if no one's ever watched me play in this world before. So yeah, forgive me if I'm explaining everything in too much detail. We've got some stairs here. This, this you can probably tell goes to the nether. We'll check that out later though. Um, got another entrance to the elevator there. Um, did these paths quite recently here. Um, this is what it all looks like from down here. Not the best. Uh, let's go Let's go across this bridge here. It's setting night time, okay. Yeah, that's alright. So let's go across this bridge. This is the bridge. Um, got some trees here, got some grass and hidden lighting again. Uh, these turn on at night. Uh, there's a control light light sensor there that turns all these on. They sometimes take a little while to turn on though because of lighting updates I think. So yeah, just, just be patient with it. We have a mob system here. This is a very efficient design and actually this is a back up of the world so I can go into spectator mode so I can break the rules. Game mode 3, yeah. This is what the mob system looks like on the inside. Uh, kind of dark in here right now so probably can't tell what's going on. Uh, but yeah, the spiders don't spawn in this but everything goes down. Uh, this is 12 layers I think and it can all be controlled by some light switches um, so you can turn all of this off, you can turn half of it off, you can turn just one pad off uh, so yeah this is pretty cool uh, let's get back into survival mode though cool so that's the mob system uh, all these lights are now on got a church here, you should probably burn it down actually Boats made out of coal, so it won't burn. Got seats for the, for all the stupid people that would go to church. It's a, got a spire, I think. No, it's a tower. It's a tower. Church with a tower. Got a little bell here. It's pretty useless. 
because no one's going to come here anyway. Got this thing. Forgot what it's called. So yeah, this is the area. It's all nicely lit up here, as you can see. Uh, we have a podium for a dragon egg here. Uh, we got from the dragon, obviously. Uh, we have a creeper face statue sort of thing here. Um, when I first started this world, my plan was to have many villages around the world and with different themes. So this is a forest themed village, sort of. So like the building theme is all foresty kind. And so the statue represents that. Uh, I never got around to making any other villages though, so I guess that was a waste of time. But yeah, uh, we got some houses here. Um, they're not used for anything. The, these two houses aren't used for anything. They're literally empty. Um, but we can still sleep in them. This doesn't have a bed though. There's a little patch of garden here. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I think there's... pretty sure there's a bed in that house. Let me just get rid of the mobs so I can actually sleep. Um, yeah, I got nice paths all around. Got a useless house here. Um, I haven't shown you any of my inventory stuff yet, have I? Um, over here we have a storage system. Well, not system, it's just a storage room. Uh, this is my main storage room in the world right now. Um, so I've got all the stone blocks here. Dirt, wood, sand and gravel, mob loot, clay stuff, well also has concrete, um, tools which I never use. I have one, sp one spare light from somewhere else and a few more I think. Uh, if I can find it. I'll show you the end of chest later. Um, glass, redstone stuff, nether stuff. Goody stuff, got lots of diamonds, lots of iron, uh, and just random junk that I don't have room for when I got it. Um, so yeah, let's. I'll show you the way in the chest. So I've got a bunch of empty shulker boxes here. Um, got some stuff from a recent project. Should probably empty that actually. Got some stuff for a current project. I need to repair these elytra. And actually, I want to turn my tool tips on. Um, yeah, so elytra needs to be repaired. Uh, this is for a project I'll show you in just a few minutes. Um, got some loot I got from exploring. Just need to empty that one out. I need to do a lot of things. Got some cobblestone here and stuff. I, I have a shortage of cobblestone in my world so I need to have extra cobblestone. Got glass there. Got fireworks to fly around. Um, got a random set of tools here. This this was for a project that I never got around to doing. I wanted to do I wanted to do this big project where I would collect every single item in the game and display it all in one big room or something. And I never got around to making the room even. So yeah, got a few tools here. Um it's pretty cool. Got a survival box here with food, potions, coal Obsidian, you name it. Even got beacons here, and a spare lighter, of course. Uh, those beacons I actually need to place somewhere, but I don't know where yet. This is a box for something I never really did. Got a box for a nether tunnel I'm, I'm building, but haven't worked on the nether. Um, got chorus fruit stuff there. Got a rail building set here, although it's currently empty because. I've been using it. Got a bunch of enchantments here. I've uh, got some mending books. Got more men, not mending, got more enchanted books here. I need to make a storage room for enchanted books, that's something I should do in the future. And got a whole bunch of packed ice. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's that. Uh, I'll show you my set of armor. Got a shiny hat. Got the elytra, got jeans and boots, and then got my chest plate here. Uh, this is my inventory. It's pretty basic. Uh, I always carry some ice with me, so I have water. And these are my current tools. Nothing too crazy. 
just OP. Over here we have a random project selector, so we put projects into here for things that we need to do. Um, I'm actually doing that right now. Uh, and then if we like out of projects to do, we can just click this button. Still works. And it gives us any random thing. Already working on that as well, actually. So yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Um, got projects for days there if we ever out of stuff to do. We have a blacksmith house here. Um, so you got got a little forge here, uh, some furnaces for use, and we can turn it on just like that. We can still access the furnaces, but this won't put itself out, so I'm just gonna do that. Got an anvil, got a water bucket type thing, uh, got a bed of course, random chest. And down here is my main furnace room. This has 16 furnaces. And uh, got minecarts here, raw items, fuel. Just put it all in and goes around and around for ages. And then eventually it will come out here into this chest. There's hoppers underneath all this. So yeah, that's cool. And uh, yeah, that's, that's this done. Over here we have a mine shaft. I've been talking for a long time. Sorry if you're bored. Over here we have Minecraft. This is a project we should never gonna even speak of because it's so pointless. It was basically a cobblestone generator that I never got to doing. Um, over here we have a Minecraft. We can take the minecart down. Um, goes around, and we have we have the Minecraft, which we don't really use that much anymore. We I just don't go mining anymore uh, because well I have plenty of diamonds. I have plenty of resources don't need to go mining really but yeah I do anyway um, over here is a system so that uh, if I was to somehow end up on the surface and there's no minecart here I can send it off but this never worked uh, I need to set it up differently but that, that's a project for another day so yeah we're back up here now and Wow, it's taking a while. We can take a path up here, which goes to a big house here. Uh, it's currently pointless, completely pointless. This is supposed to be a um, town hall type thing. We've got a storage for ender pearls here. Um, let me let me take some actually with me, so I have some for when we when I need them. Um, we can take the stairs up here. Um, got a little room here kind of like reading library obviously yeah same there take take this up one more got massive windows and haven't really done too too much here um, this project took a really long time to do so I'd, I, I don't really want to work on it for too long we can go down to the basement here uh, it's never been finished yet but here we have a current project of mine which is a giant map. This this map is going to fill this whole wall one day, and these are one to sixteen maps. So, uh, like, this is the whole village here. That's how big these maps are. And yeah, I've messed up a few of them, so I'm gonna have to re re draw, re map them. I'm gonna have to take them and just fly over those areas where where I didn't fully render them. Yeah, this is just a little bit of it. It's gonna be much bigger. Don't you worry. I'm not gonna show you it all on camera because it's gonna take way too long. So yeah, um, that's that project. That's why I have this bear light trend all that in my in the chest. Uh, if we take the path further down here, over here to the right, we have a project, the armor swapper project that I said I was doing. Um, this is now all complete. All these units are complete. I just need to wire up, I need to make the select panel and the selection system and I need to wire it all up to all of these um, and it's going to work uh, and I'm going, my plan is to encase it all in glass um, so like a massive glass box and then you can see it it's gonna look cool and then yeah the, the stuff would come here um, got a slime farm here, this is slime chunk I've put glass there like like so, so it um, as you can see it fogs it out, so you don't re actually see anything. But 
it's I think it's a cool effect, don't you think? So yeah, this is a slime farm. Um, one day all these chests are going to fill up. I'm not planning on emptying or using slime balls for anything for a long time. But yeah, got full chests here. This is filling up now. Next chest is going to be that. So yeah, this is a slime farm. Um, it's currently working as you can see. Got a hopper light. It comes up there. It comes up right there. And the hopper takes it that way. So yeah. Um, we can go down there, but I'm not going to. That's just to make sure that it, the minecarts keep working because once I had the minecart glitch out and it just wasn't there anymore after like I went to the nether and stuff. Because if you unload chunks with minecarts in it, um, it's not going to work well for the minecart. So yeah, anyway, let us not take this path yet. Uh, let us let us go and fly over here somewhere. Um, so over here we have a tree farm which I never really did anything with. I don't even use it. Um, over here we have a field of sugarcane. Um, I was supposed to make it like four times as big, but I never really got to it because I made a fully automatic one. But yeah, you just go through here. This is maximum area, so each one of these can have four blocks. And then this is all full, basically. And then we've got a little AFK house here, sugarcane farm. Um, got chests for stuff, and then we've got more storage here. Uh, let's sleep if we can. Uh, come on, there we go. So yeah, this is this is the sugarcane farm. The field of sugarcane farm, I mean. Over here we have a cactus farm, fully automatic as well. Um, it's not it's not too it's not too big. I could have made this like the full chunk sky high sort of thing, but I decided not to. Um, we got a chest up here. This uses an item elevator that I came up with myself. Actually, um, I want to make a tutorial on it. I'm just gonna make sure that it is actually efficient. And I'm gonna find other ways to make it more efficient, for, like space and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's a really good item elevator and it works really well. Uh, over here we have an old sugarcane farm, which is still automatic. Um, sugarcane farm. I meant cactus farm. Yeah, I read that sign. I was like, did I just say sugarcane? So yeah, stuff goes here. Go chest here. Well, it's actually filling up. Nice. It still, this still works. It's just really slow and pointless, really. Um, so yeah, we don't use we don't use that one anymore. It's just there for decoration. All right, flying back up here. Uh, let's land here. Yeah. So here we have another street cane farm. This a full harvest of this gives us a stack and a half. Uh, taking the path further here, to the left we have a farm. We've got cows, pigs. You name it. Drop down here. We got wheat, carrots, potatoes, beetroot, melons, and pumpkins. Um, yeah, this is one of my automatic chicken farm. Got chicken there for days. Uh, this you just step on the pressure plate and then you can collect it. Same with here. Um, this you just press on the button. Water comes out. And then you can replant it like that yeah you know how this works um, and same with everything so we've got some carrots potatoes that way carrots here wheat beetroot I don't use beetroot for anything so it's just there now um, can you get it back up here that's failed why can't I get out okay so yeah got 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 a little farm here for food and stuff over here we have the Cocoa Bean Farm, I always forget their name for some reason. Uh, we have the Automatic Sugar Cane Farm, which is a really inefficient design, but I designed it myself, so sh shut up. Um, I'm going to tear this down eventually, and then rebuild it, and have like a much better one. But yeah, we've got Automatic Sugar Cane coming to there. The path splits here and goes to the right. Uh, here we have a vine farm. Unfortunately, you can't automate vines, because you need to break them with shears. Only, but yeah, you just take the shears, break all this. This is this is exactly the same as the field of sugarcane, um, except that rather than water, it's just a stone block there, and you place the vines all around. And yeah, this is maximizing the 
area that this can grow in so that you can basically have as much as you can in that sort of small area so yeah th th those are the farms there's one more farm here um got so it's a mini base technically although never really got to it that, that failed I can't, I can't do this wow okay there we go so yeah we can crawl around in here because we're using our elytra and we're technically standing in here but it, to us it appears like we're crouching low here because we entered here with the elytra so yeah this this just it's just a tunnel that takes us to the next farm um, got another warp farm here and just going down and then we fully grow up here again uh, so got another warp here for days um, just worked like that pretty cool uh, this is a backup so I'm not going to bother with anything here just going to throw this out yeah, the, on average, this gives about eight stacks profit, so twelve stacks in total. Uh, it uses four stacks as uh, seeds, so yeah, it. My farms are medium sized, I'd say. I I I am thinking of building much bigger farms at a different base of mine. Um, this here is a. Uh, I was going to build a rail sort of thing and make it look nice going to a uh, amusement park as I was thinking of building here but I haven't worked on this in ages uh, I think this roller coaster works though so yeah we just enter here uh, go in here press the button go off roller coaster works just fine it's pretty cool slows down a bit here before the big drop and woo we go down and it ends here again. But that's cool. Um, nothing special here. We've got a bed and then a chest. Let's see what's in these chests actually. Oh, we have quite a bit of wooden rails there. Could have could have used those. Um, going up here. I haven't got a path leading up here or anything. Um, we have an ice farm. Um, it's it's not great. I I want to re build a nice farm somewhere else maybe in the same place actually yeah we've got a little AFK, sh AFK shack here we've got some storage um, some stuff from the UFO that you've, you just saw me there I, I am building a UFO I, I built the whole UFO I just need to build the insides of it now um, so this is what it looks like on the inside right now uh, it's a big circle basically uh, 75 wide I think got it's going to be three floors I think so there's going to be an engineering floor here which is where this is going to be and I have a beacon there um, so this is like the beam going up into the UFO uh, I'm pretty creative like that yeah I know so special but yeah uh, thinking of having three floors here and then the main deck which is just up there we have a minecart elevator here as well uh, not there though so yeah, you have to hop off though to get up. So yeah, we have the main deck here. Uh, I haven't built the console yet, but there will be a console going all around. Um, got a dome here with some snow on it. And uh, yeah, it, this is the UFO. Let's get out. And uh, yeah, that, that concludes that part. Um, over here we have a little watchtower that I've built. Uh, and there's like a smoke signal thing so you just light this on fire and in real life because this is leaves and coal this would produce loads of smoke so the whole village can see it um, so yeah you just go up here and just sit around here looking out see if there's any any enemies coming around um, over here we have a, uh, a pumpkin farm this is fully automatic as well uh, I am thinking of expanding it but yeah Fully automatic pumpkin farm. Uh, it only works in the daytime because it uses light sensors to detect when a pumpkin grows. So, if a pumpkin grows, then the light will not go through the piston because pistons are transparent. So the light won't go through it, and it will be turned on. So the piston extends and breaks the pumpkin off. And as you can see, they're just going down here. Got a few pumpkins there. I've, I've recently used them for some stuff. Uh, 
over here we have the path here splits off to the left so as you can see over here we have a creeper farm uh, the way this works is that there's trapdoors there and because creepers are um, a bit lower in height than other zombies like other mobs uh, creep only creepers will spawn there which is good and uh, also spiders spiders spawn there as well which kind of sucks because the whole stuff the whole storage system here fills up with string but yeah uh, you can turn it on it it lags quite a bit because of the water updates and but yeah it, it's quite effective it gets you a few stacks in an hour maybe I know it depends on how well you light up your caves around uh, my caves are all right lit up and or this here goes to the main control system of the main storage or the main mob system I mean so when I turn this on the lights in the main mob system turn on so that uh, no mobs spawn there and more, more creeps can spawn here actually I didn't show you the stuff here so I, um, going down here please don't kill me okay um, so this is where the minecart comes empties put stuff in here so we've got loads of string here got some gunpowder uh, I do use the gunpowder quite a lot because fireworks I right, and yeah this is the creeper this is the creeper and spider farm whoo I've done a lot of talking guys uh, over here we have a beacon room um, so we've got beacons here we've got strength to resistance to uh, jump boost and regen I can't be bothered with jump boost to though speed to and haste to so in this whole area I got loads of effects uh, there's a bridge that goes out across here and uh, this this thing connects up to the main place there and then also this pointless staircase up here and down here goes to the potion room this is pointless because this is at the same Y level as that bridge so it doesn't need to go up and then down at all so yeah we've got a potion system here it's, it's semi-automatic so you just fill this with potion uh, bottles uh, water bottles yeah you fill this with water bottles um, just up there it appears that I can't control there you go so yeah I've got it's fully automatic here this is the wiring I should probably build a better access way to here but yeah this is the way it works it's not my design, it's Ethos. Uh, so yeah, it, it's pretty cool design. Um, got some doors here with a pulse extender so that you can uh, basically go in and out whenever you want. And then they'll close a few seconds after you go. And then this is a potion storage room. The most I have is instant health too because those are probably the ones I'm going to use. Got different ingredients that you can select to have. Obviously you can't have these two at the same time. Yeah, you, you just select which ones you want. So let's say I wanted a splash potion of uh, strength two. Yeah, that's that, that would give me that. Or I wanted a longer strength potion, just like that. And then if I wanted to make it a weakness potion, I would add that, although I don't have any in there. But nether wart in there. Um, main ingredients there wow so much talking so yeah th this is this area um, I think I've covered it all now uh, just a few things to show um, so we can take this up here and then sleep uh, okay I haven't shown everything there's a few things to show still never mind <sighs> false hope if you saw something in this video and I haven't mentioned it yet I'm not I'm not not gonna show it I am actually gonna show it I'm just getting to it so yeah over here we have some tall trees this is for, like wood um, over here the path continues um, don't have any lights here though uh, the path continues over here there's a small bridge going over to the lighthouse um, we built this when the concrete powder came up because it, it's so smooth looking like the texture of it's so smooth and I was like we have to use this for a lighthouse because this looks pretty good doesn't it and we've got a spiral staircase here and just go up here 
I got a beacon here, which is I think just speed, um, speed and regen. So because we're not affected by that beacon here anymore. So yeah, we can look around here and uh, yeah, that's that. I need to take a small break from talking, sorry. Okay, mainly possible crises averted. So over here we we get lights again, um, and this is my iron farm. Uh, iron golems fall down here, get destroyed by lava, stuff, loot goes into here. Obviously I use this quite a lot, otherwise I'd have a lot more iron in there. Um, let's go you check this out. Uh, just up here. We so we have villagers, and uh, I I bought some of them from villagers, and then they just bred in here. So we've got we've got a big village here. We've got two layers for spawning, and uh, yeah, that that that's pretty efficient. Although you can still make it bigger, but I'm not going to do that because it is pointless for me because I don't really use iron for anything. Uh, over here we have some horse stables with only two horses, although we have space for five. Um, so just go on to a horse, and then that opens so we can get out. They're not the best horses. They're all right. Can jump like two and a half blocks. It's all right. Not not overly fast. Um, so yeah, this. Ooh no. Okay. So yeah, this works because uh, I, I don't remember contraption names I just know how they work but yeah you go in there that goes that goes up you enter it that goes down so you can get out two horses and that's it really um, okay over here we have a firework works workshop sort of thing um, so this is the main room uh, you start over here uh, you're supposed to have an empty hot bar for this but you start over here, stuff comes out you uh, to make a uh, fireworks star. So you just get that out. You get more stuff for fireworks star. You get loads of colors actually. Um, it's all randomized. Uh, it's just like that. And then when you want to stop making them, you just throw it into here so it doesn't pass through a, a detector. And then next next step is here to make their actual fireworks. Um, so you just go here. These are all two duration, so that they're fairly long. I did this wrong, didn't I? Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that gives you duration, and you get more stuff. And uh, yeah, you you can make these for a long time. Let me get rid of that. And then everything comes up here. Um, it's slightly delayed, so you're not going to get everything right away. But yeah, these are the ones we, we just made, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. So you've got some fireworks. Um, it's for a firework display, which I'm not actually going to do in this episode because I, I don't have the time to make all the fireworks. But yeah, this is the randomizers. Over here, we've got some redstone stuff. Yeah, I need I, I need to polish this all up, but I don't really care too much. Um, so yeah, that that's the firework workshop. Over here we have the storage for the mob system. Um, goes down here. Uh, the mobs fall down this way. Uh, this is where all the storage is. So we've got lots of flesh, uh, bones. We've got bones for days. I actually need to. Uh, convert these bones to bone meal and then convert them to bone blocks because then that's going to be like this is going to turn into one stack I think yeah three it's going to be three to one so three three bones makes one block of bone got some gunpowder here got some arrows and we got random stuff from like witches and armored and stuff uh, so yeah uh, we can control the lights, so this is the main control switch for the lights that turns them all on, so that nothing spawns, but we obviously never want to do that. And then this controls a water thing. I yeah, so basically all the mobs will survive, 
and you can hit them to death. Uh, okay, I think I will turn it off. Okay, maybe a maybe that didn't work. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave that be for now. Um, I don't remember how this works, honestly. So yeah, that's that's that room. Over here we have a really cool thing. So we just enter here. This is this is a semi AFK place. Um, so this is for when we want to turn concrete powder into concrete blocks. We just put a concrete powder into our hand and we get a, a pick and we just click both buttons at the same time and it will automatically place them, turn it to the concrete blocks because there's water there, and then put them into the chest there, and then this is safe from mobs, so it's all cool. Right, uh now I think this is it for this area. Um, okay, oh wait, I'm missing one more thing. I'm missing one more thing. Uh, over here we have something we built a long time ago. This is a... Uh, I don't know if that worked. This is a boat dispenser. You need to actually hit the button, I think, now. Back in the days when you built, when I built this, you didn't need to hit the button. Okay, you got the boat. Um, you can take it out for its spin and uh, then just return it here. Uh, you just go over here, stuff comes up, you can exit, and goes into a system. Uh, let's check it out actually. Um, so yeah, we've got piston there and stuff. I mean, how does this actually work? It's mad. Okay, never mind. So yeah, we've got a boat stack of boats here, got a trap door that quickly opens and closes, so only one boat goes through, and then we've got some... Ah! Okay, we've got some problems. we got some slime block launchers here uh, to get it across, and then goes here and comes out. Pretty cool. Um, over here we have a path which is not letting me go through. Ah, I see why. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, got a slime. Not slime. Work. We got a nice path here with trapdoor, so that when you jump and sprint, you can go really fast through this. So yeah, I'm already at this place here now. That's that's how fast it is. And okay, let's go to the next area. Let's go to the next area, guys. No, we have one more thing. Um, over here I have um, another map which is just of this area um, so just this village here um, so we just checked out all of this uh, right here um, I'm gonna go this way now uh, let's take let's take the elytra that way um, so over here we have a path going up here I, I wanted to build an automatic wood farm or semi-automatic wood farm there but I never got around to finishing one of the main wrestling components. We have a bridge coming across here and goes to a graveyard which was f meant for our uh, tools but you see you I lose most of my tools when I die and tools don't really now there's mending tools don't actually need repairing and they never die but yeah I have one pick here which was one of my first that was my first pick basically so yeah I'll put it there I'm a grave digger now um, never really finished this um, for when we commemorate the death of a pick or something we would activate this and it would fire this really far but I, I don't think we can do this now because it would hit the roof of that I think so yeah we can't do this now because of safety reasons we don't want to break all our stuff do we but yeah the path continues here um, it's, you have the I have these markings here that's because I that's, that was a plan for a massive castle type thing. I've got to, I was going to build massive city walls here um, and tear this whole forest down but I think I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to build a castle here quite yet. Um, but yeah we've got a path here. It goes through a dark forest. Um, and it, this goes to my purple farm or chorus fruit farm. Um, we can sleep here actually um, and I'll show you how this works. Uh, we did an update video on this recently. Um, I was fixing it up and stuff. 
So we have the chorus fruit going growing there, and we have the main control system for everything here. So we've got storage system for the chorus fruit. Over here we have all the wiring. Uh, so this is this uses my new um, design for an item elevator. As you can see, it's very compact. It's literally just two blocks wide and however high you need it to be, but at the bottom it is a bit messy, or it can be quite messy at the bottom. So, yeah, I'm just thinking if there's a better way I can do this. Um, but as you can see, there's two different wires going off into places. Uh, this is to control different sides of this farm. I'm, I can't get through there, can I? Never mind. Um, this is controlled so that, let's say, I wanted to only have this one go off, harvest all of this, yeah, I would only hit that lever. Uh, the reason I have to do them separately is because the time it takes to break the seeds on both sides of all this and still make profit of the seeds, or just enough so that you can have a full replant, it takes too long and so stuff will start despawning and you'll just lose the seeds. So you have to do them separately. Um, this is a this is the far one, so the water would work just like that. And uh, minecarts go out, collect everything. Uh, they would usually do it in two two goes. Um, so yeah, the water goes out like that. It hits everything, and you get it all. Uh, minecarts go back. Let's see if I can beat them. Nope. Uh, got a slight issue with the door here, but that that doesn't matter. Uh, over here we have a door so that we can go in into this so we don't have to like fly around and stuff and you can just replant here um, so yeah it, it's a fairly large area uh, took, took a lot of resources to build obviously uh, got a random sort of wall here so it looks cool and yeah that that is it for this area this is a little work shack I had here whilst I was building this got some stuff here. I think I'm gonna keep it here. Wow, I have I have so much good stuff lying around that I should have in one chest. But yeah. Whew. This is this area done now. I'm sure of it. So yes, let's now check out the nether. Uh, we it's not done, I'm not done here. I'm sorry guys, I'm so sorry. Uh over here. Uh we have a tunnel, a water tunnel for boats, which goes through the mountain um, and it comes out the other end. Uh, but it just joins two rivers together really. Nothing too special. Um, I have a sheep farm though, that that is right here though, which we will check out in just a second uh, as I get out of here. Um, we got us we can walk this whole tunnel on one side though so it's alright. Um, and I made it I made it look like it's been there for a while and I even got lava there because it's in the middle of the mountain so why wouldn't you have lava uh, so yeah here's the sheep farm I, I need to finish the entrance and then this is fully complete uh, so yeah we have sheep in here um, all, all the colors of sheep including white so this is this is the room uh, we've got storage for wool here um, I don't really use cold wool for anything the only thing I'd use it for is carpets uh, so I still come here every now and then and and shear all the sheep just so that I have wool if I need like loads of carpet for something. But yeah, it all works pretty well. There's about six sheep per area there. So I think think this is it now. This is the firework show place field sort of thing. You just go here. This is it. Randomizes when to do the fireworks. Um, and you just put fireworks in, firework rockets in those chests and it all works, should all work fine. So yeah, let's go to the nether now. Let's go to the nether now. I think that's it for the overworld in this region at least. So yeah, this is my little nether hub sort of thing out here. Um, I'm, I'm working on the nether hub in the nether, or at least I've been trying to. I haven't actually done anything in a long time here. So yeah, this is my nether hub in the in the nether. Um, over here we have some minecart areas, although only one actually goes anywhere because only I, I don't really travel around the world too much, but I 
I got space here just in case I need it. Over here I have a tunnel which goes to the end. Uh, I built this quite recently. It's a short tunnel but it goes to the end and another tunnel um, I started work on a long time ago but never yet even got past this area here. Uh, that, that's supposed to go to the jungle and stuff. Um, let me kill this gas because I don't I don't like gas flying around my tunnels. Um, so yeah, this is the Nether. Um, up there we have a gold farm which uh, works, but not really. Um, so over here, uh, this is the gold farm. Um, got a massive ring. Um, the reason I don't think it works perfectly is because they just ever so slightly too far from me the pingman I mean so when the new ones spawn they don't get aggro oh this guy's here mm, yeah so yeah these guys don't get aggro at me when when they spawn unless I move close to them but yeah th this gives off XP a lot of XP when they die because they're aggro so technically counts as my kill so we can just come here and get the XP and stuff. Um, it's all cool. We can get back to the overworld really simply by just going into that portal there. Um, but I'm not going to do that now because there's a few, one more place you need to check out. Of course there's a ghast. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Oh, there's a ghast here. I I want it. I want it. Okay. So yeah, this is Ah, oh, he made a hole in my ceiling. Ah Okay, let's get out of here. Actually no, we're not getting out, we're not getting out. We're travelling. We're travelling, yeah. Um I'm not going to record going down the tunnel here because it's quite boring. And I'm gonna fly it because it's faster than taking the minecart. Uh, this is this was from before my elytra existed again. And we exit here. Um, this is a blaze farm. Um, we've got a blaze spawner there uh, and a funnel, which will bring all the blaze into one area. Um, over here we can go kill them. Uh, got. Got an enchantment area, got some storage here, some stuff in the chest of course. Over here we just press that button, they get poisoned. Uh, got blaze rods for days. Um, so yeah, they get poisoned, then you just throw a damage potion at them and they all die. Or you can swipe, swipe a sword with them, now I think. Once they all finish taking damage. Come on. Uh, you'd usually wait for a lot more to be there. Um, the default setting for NC cramming is like 24, I think, or 25. Um, yeah, I I I changed that in mine because I didn't like it at all. So I have it like 200 or something. So I could have a lot of mobs. Over here is my wither skeleton farm in progress. I'm still clearing out like the area and stuff. But yeah, uh, so far this has given me two beacons since I started work on it, so it's, it's pretty good. Um, it's going to be even better when I finish it. I'm not going to do anything there now though. Um, but what I'm going to do now though is I'm going to go through this portal which takes me to my second base in this world, uh, which is a really nice base actually. Um, it's, not, it's not exactly at the base. Uh, I need to fly over here. Um, this is going to be my giant base, as I'm going to call it, because this is all big. So here I'm digging a massive hole, 75 diameter, I think, something like that. Um, so yeah, giant hole here, got some beacons to help me dig, um, got a lot of stone here. This is where, this is pretty much all of my cobblestone in the world right here. Um, that's how little cobblestone I have. Um, so yeah, this is a giant hole. It's gonna go down to bedrock level. Uh, over here, 
is a giant storage system which most of the chests are empty but some of these are pretty much full this is this is my bulk storage um, so like I have lots of things I just store them here oh I have quite a bit of cobble actually that's nice to know I need to label all this stuff so that I know where stuff is because it takes a long time to find it um, got more stuff here this is where uh, basically oh wow I have so much cobblestone guys I, I actually didn't know I had that much cobblestone uh, over here uh, is a giant wheat farm uh, that we built a, like 10 episodes ago or something um, this is probably my favorite project in this whole area uh, because it's just so satisfying and it was so cool to build uh, I haven't actually been able to fully plant this yet I haven't had enough seeds come from it I need to redesign oh it looks like I did no I need a few more hoppers here um, and I need to redesign this system here uh, because uh, it takes a really long time to get everything in here basically and, and I'm I'm not patient and yeah um, so yeah this is my second base I don't think there's anything else here to show uh, let me head over to the end I'm not gonna take that tunnel uh, for the end portal though I'm gonna take a different tunnel which I which I have and then I think that'll be it for the world tour actually um, we've got I think we did this pretty quick I, I'm, I'm not sure though it seems seems like it's been a long time so yeah let me get to the overworld and I'm gonna show you what I've done I'm lagging a lot here alright so flying up here um, just over here we have the nether tunnel nether tunnel end tunnel so you just go down these minecarts here you can take them back up if you want although I don't see why you would um, because if you're going down here then you kind of know what you're doing um, so yeah this is the end tunnel uh, this took a really long time to do got boats here which are returned to you automatically there's the water stream there um, on ice So yeah you just take these boats go down the ice uh, this is before I had packed ice so I had to do something underneath the ice to make it look nice I know it's really hard to see but it is there um, so you just take this here and uh, pull it around and then just drop this in there that will be returned to you for the next time you're there this is where the end portal nether portal comes out of and then here's the end portal obviously uh, I haven't done much at the end there at, well at the end place um, so yeah this this is the main island uh, I've got an enderman farm here this is pretty much the only reason I come to the end uh, because it's a good source of XP uh, you just just come here they're all one hit kills although most of them die because this was quite inefficient so yeah you can kill them yourself or you can just take a sword and kill most of them all in one go just like that um, so yeah uh, and then this is here so endermen don't teleport out and it's all good so here's the main end island uh, got the portal right there uh, and to the further end there's a portal there I don't know what it's actually called um, oh boy I'm here again <laughs> okay um, I don't think there's anything else to show though in this world that I can think of so we might as well end here um, I, I haven't shown you my advancements yet I had almost every single achievement I had like two achievements to go uh, before I I had this one to go in whilst it was still called achievements I had this one to go which I'm nearly done with I have five biomes to discover apparently I uh, don't know which ones they are um, so yeah these are my advancements uh, most of them well some got all of this done though it's pretty cool and uh, my statistics uh, one more when I quit this game it's gonna be the best number ever oh yeah uh, when you guys open the world it's gonna be the best number ever because uh, yeah I'm gonna do a world download for you guys so you can check this out on for yourself if you want to so, yeah time played quite a lot uh, you, you can read this for yourself I'm just gonna uh, scroll this down um, 
some of these statistics might not be accurate because the world had a few issues. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know. Just, you can just read this all yourself. Uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff I've done in this world. Um, when we get to the mobs, I'm gonna just do something real quick. Uh, so yeah, this is the items. Blah blah blah, come on. Okay, so over here, uh, you can't do this normally in single player, but I did a command so... Oh, we got squid spawning. Um, I did a command so I can see just up there, um, I can see my number of deaths next to my name when I press tab. I got 45 deaths in this world. Um, let me get to the mobs. Just see how many mobs have actually killed me. A blaze killed me once, creeper killed me once, enderman killed me once. Skeleton killed me once. Well, the skeleton killed me once. So, uh, yeah, most of my deaths come from full damage. It's like when I ram my elytra into a wall or something. That that's that's how I die most of the time. Pretty stupid, I know. Yeah, um, but that's just how it is for me, unfortunately. So, yeah, this is this was a world backup. So, um, it doesn't matter what I do to this world, as I said already. Uh, you got the world you're gonna get when I do the world download is. Uh, the one when we just started recording this episode, so yeah, um, something I actually want to show you um, when I when I built the this big storage room, I had planned to access it from the other side of the mountain from here because this looks so much cooler. Like, look at it. This looks cool, right? That this is where I plan to access it from, but I I haven't built anything here, so. Yeah, that's how it is. Uh, so yeah, um, I think this is the end now. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'm not doing a firework display as I usually do. Uh, can't can't be bothered today. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, thanks for the 75 episodes that I've done. Even though no one watches this, no one ever watches this at all. Yeah, thanks, thanks guys. Um, if you if you like, then be sure to like the video. If you really liked it and want to see more, then subscribe. And if you don't want to miss anything out, then hit that notification bell. Fucking smash it! And yeah, I, I will see you next episode. Um, I've got a few plans for what we're gonna do. I I, I want to work on the UFO. Uh, although it's not guaranteed. Depends what I decide to do. Uh, I got. Got got a lot to do still. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to end this world. Probably never, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. And have a good day. Bye-bye.